Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I continue with my series on the promise of the Spirit. Yesterday, I began on my second point, the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus. And I want to read other scripture before I mention a few things here and then pray with you. I'll be reading the book of 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. The Bible says, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Praise the Lord. And verse 3 says, And every man that had this hope in him purified himself even as he is pure. Praise the Lord. I continue with where I left yesterday. And I want to say this. Holiness is a response to love, not to law. Where every time you walk in holiness, you are just responding to love, not to law. This is made possible by the Spirit, not by the law. By the way, you cannot live a life of holiness by the law that are set. You live a life of holiness by the love that comes from our Father. When our Father leads us, when our Father talks to us, He encourages us to live a life that brings glory to His name. Those who walk in the Spirit are finished with their relationship with the law. Galatians 5 18 talks about that. Under the new covenant, we have obligation to the Spirit, not to the law, but to the Spirit. Galatians 5, 16. And when you go to Romans 8, 2, 4, the Bible says, the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus is now God's way of living. We now walk by the Spirit. We are led by Him and energized by the Spirit. He is the guarantor of our holiness. He will make it happen. He will reproduce the life of Jesus in us. Hallelujah. Listen to me, somebody. How without the law will I know what sin is? The Spirit makes us aware of it. If you read Galatians 5, 19 to 21, the Spirit will make us aware of it. The fruit of the Spirit is the life of Christ produced in us by the indwelling Spirit. When the Spirit of the Lord lives in you, you will bear the fruit of the Spirit that we read in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. We'll read about that and see what God is able to do. No wonder Jesus said this in John 15 verses 1. As we abide in Him, we bear much fruit. This is to realize and live from our new creation identity. We have an identity child of God. And this morning I encourage you, even as I pray with you, that God is calling us to walk in the Spirit. And holiness is a response to love. Maybe you are struggling with holiness. I want to tell you, holiness is not a response to law. Holiness is a response to love. And this love comes from Jesus. When we have intimacy with God through the Spirit, we enjoy this love. And when you enjoy the love that comes from the Father, it will be automatic that you'll walk a life of holiness that brings glory to the name of the Lord. Allow me to pray for you this morning in the name of the Lord. Our Heavenly Father, the great I am, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, I want to pray that you will bless us to walk in holiness, to walk in holiness, 
to walk in our true identity this morning because that is what can make us enjoy the spirit of life in Christ. That is how we can enjoy what God you are doing in our lives. I bless you and I glorify your name. In Jesus' name I pray that and I say amen as you say amen. God bless you even as you go to your place of work this morning. In Jesus' name. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.